How's it going guys? Josh here aka Olufemi and I'm just gonna say it. Music videos should start at 5,000 US dollars. That's it. Video over. Just kidding, but not really. Let's back up just a couple of steps. Actually, a side note before we move on, I've been in Brisbane for almost an entire year. I'm actually moving back to LA in about three months and I still haven't figured out the ideal audio setup. I keep switching between this mic and this mic. I know the lav mic looks better aesthetically, but I just like how this mic sounds a lot better. So we creatives usually deal with two main issues. In general, people in the arts deal with their time getting undervalued. People in general just don't understand the massive financial time and mental commitment that each video production project requires, and therefore expect lower than reasonable production prices when it comes to requesting quotes. Number two, new creatives tend to undervalue their own time due to lack of knowledge of industry rates and the lack of understanding of the true scarcity of their skill set. This reality applies to all forms of video production, but for the moment, we're just gonna focus on music videos. Now, when you're just starting out, for sure, do music videos at a discounted rate or even for free. But once you've gotten past that certain point of excellence, however, then start charging 5K minimum. Now, I know this sounds like I'm oversimplifying the complicated phenomenon of price evaluation. How would you even understand when your skills warrant such a price tag? Well, the answer is pretty simple. The only way to truly know what the market value of a product or a service is, is to actually put it on the market and see if it sells. I feel like sometimes 90% of the creatives that I know aren't even confident enough in themselves to do that first step. They continuously undervalue themselves for years until that mental shift finally happens. I, of course, don't know your individual skill level and its accompanying price value, but I would bet that it's higher than what you're charging. If you've been in the production game for the last year or two and you have a pretty decent portfolio, then I feel like these prices I'm telling you to charge are pretty reasonable. So what would a $5,000 music video look like? Again, this is just my opinion, but I feel like a $5,000 music video should be a base package. That means it's the bottom rung, but it still looks dope. This package would include a one day shoot a higher-end mirrorless DSLR, a three-minute song, one producer, one grip, one to two locations, maybe three to four setups, one dolly or stabilized anchoring shot, minimal to no VFX, two weeks of video editing, two rounds of post-production revisions, and a full color grade. This is very fair and greatly values the client's budget as well as the creator's time and expertise. Let's sidestep again. I think it's funny how much money you end up spending on extra post-production elements that you never figure that you're actually gonna need until it's too late and it's not ever in the budget. I'm talking about like transition packs, LUT packs, title packs. Sometimes it can bleed hundreds of dollars out of your budget. Well, what I have started doing is I use, of course, Envato Elements. They sponsor this video. For exactly $33 a month, you have access to over half a million transition packs, VFX packs, any type of digital products you can think of, even stock footage. Only for $33 a month, unlimited downloads. It's incredible. Link in the description. If you click on the link, it helps the channel out. So take a look. I'd really appreciate it. Let's continue with the video. So if you're serious, full-time professional and you're charging $500, $1,000, maybe $2,000 for music videos, yeah, you might get a few clientele, but in the long run, that business model is not gonna be sustainable. Again, this is just my opinion, but you gotta think how much of the total production budget are you personally actually taking home and can you live off of that? So real quick, this is a 5K music video that I shot and I edited. Dingus, monumental, uh, I am Dias, monumental, BNEs. Monumental, uh, monumental, monumental, everything is monumental. With the D and DNM, I get conversation heavy. They weren't ready for me, they were happy, everything was steady. Had to shake the genre up in this country, especially too many acting not that they don't rap, man, I don't get it. Actually, I do it's cause the talent doesn't represent the status that they at, so they be sitting on the fence. That's what happens when you gas a B grade man. To the point is ego telling me the best to ever stand. And I can guarantee the only thing they say to me is that I'm jealous when I just started, they just scared I tell it. Yeah. Looking like I'm firing, haven't even taken aim. But I guess if you relate, you the only one to blame. So the video is alright. I really liked the artist. His name's IMD. He's a local rapper here in Brisbane, Australia. So this base music video price structure of five thousand dollars can remain as it is but the artist can of course add on extra product points 
they just get added on as fees. So say they want to shoot at a really dope location that has a price, just add it on as a location fee. Any film permit fees, just add those on. Do they want a Lamborghini in the shoot? Well, just add the rental costs in as a fee. Do they want to use a red camera package? Again, an extra fee. These extra fees can cover set design, craft services, or a plethora of other things. Again, it's crucial to be very open and clear with your client at the very beginning before pre-production what's inside and what's outside of your production budget so that they can kind of prepare for the fees that they may encounter. So let's flip back real quick. Are there project proposals that are actually not worth a $5,000 price tag? Of course, you wouldn't quote $5,000 to create a short 15 second story edit for some musical artist. But it's crucial to have that minimum project price that you don't operate below so you don't have tons of micro $20 projects that you have to complete every month. This just isn't a very efficient use of time. So do you have that client that loves to request a lot of micro projects? Well, that's okay. Just bundle up those projects to make it a big project and offer it as a package or a bundle. Another side note, when you are dealing with budgets, make sure that you have fixed rates within those production budgets that give you the fees that you want to end up taking home regardless of the other production costs. Basically, I'd be looking to take home around $3,000 from a $5,000 music video production budget. That would cover my directing, DP, and editing fee. In turn, my producer and my grip would be taking home fixed rates as well. These rates generally won't change unless I have to charge for more production days or post-production days. After 50K, I generally charge about 10 to 15% of the total production budget as a take-home fee for my Myself. So you have fixed rates so you know what you're taking home in the end so your personal fees don't get lost in the overall production budget and accidentally spent because they know that if they say have an extra $2,000 to spend that they can trust you with that money and that money is going to go straight into increasing the production value of their project and won't just go to lining your pockets. And that side note leads perfectly into my next point that you need to justify your rates. This is what justifies the often overlooked financial, mental, and time commitment that these video projects require. I am very open about production cost allotment with my clients. And why shouldn't I? They already know the fixed fees that I plan to walk away with. All transparency does is justify and educate them on those rates that they're gonna be paying. It allows them to see the true cost of video production and usually results in a greater willingness to pay your quoted price. Here is an in-depth budget schedule of a $5,000 music video that I directed. Again, I hid nothing from the client. I wanna tackle more massive music video budgets in another video, but I needed to drive home the point in this video that undervaluing yourself by charging overly discounted prices helps no one. At this point, you'd understand why it's bad for you, but it's also bad for the client because in general, people don't usually appreciate what they don't have to pay market rate for. I know this may sound kind of disingenuous from the point of view of the client if they were to watch this video, but it's actually true. Lastly, discounted prices are actually really bad for your peers in the production community because if enough people do it, maybe out of ignorance, it will actually start to affect the market price. Once that market rate dips below a certain point, we all lose because music video production would no longer become a sustainable income source. Profits would just no longer cover costs. So that's about it, folks. Charge 5K for your next music video project. And if it warrants it, then charge more. I dare you. And then I want you to tell me what happens when you do. And very, very, very last point. If that price is just too high for your client still, remind them that payment plans are always an option. Have them pay a thousand a month if they need to. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep it chill.